excited to see you. Welcome to the clubhouse. I'm Karina. I'm Emma. And my name is Ellison. But where's Bark? I think Bark is hiding. Ooh, I wonder where he could be. Can you help us spy Bark? Yes. yes. Thanks. Let's look around the clubhouse. Is Bark behind the couch? No. Hmm. Is Bark outside? No. Where could he be? Behind the toys. What? Is Bark behind the toys? Yes. There he is. Thanks for all of your help finding Bark. Together, we are a super team. Speaking of something super, did you send us something super? Yes. Let's see what it is. Here at the clubhouse, we help connect the super clue, the big deal, and the Bible. Let's check it out together and see what's inside. Ooh, that's pretty. What is it? Super cool. It's a GPS map. A GPS map helps us know which way to go when we're driving in a car. Today's big deal is I spy. God wants me to know Him. But I wonder, what does the super clue have to do with our big deal? Can you wonder with us? Oh yes, I got it. Just like we can listen to a GPS map to help know the right way to go, we can listen to people who can help us know the right way to follow God. God gives us people like friends, pastors, and family to help us know more about God and Jesus. When we listen to people who know and love God, they teach us more about Him. We can listen to the Bible together, pray together, and learn more about God. And God's people help point us in the right direction. Yes. Now. Be looking because you're gonna see the super clue again. And when you see the super clue, here's what I want you to do. Since our super clue is a GPS map, I want you to point up like a GPS and say, "Listen and follow." Let me see you try. Listen, Listen and follow. follow. Great job. Let's open the Bible and see what it says about listening and learning about God through His people. Today's story is from the book of Acts. Can you say Acts? Acts. Acts. Yes. Remember, the Bible is God's book. The Bible is true, and it's for you. Are you ready for today's Bible story? The unknown God. Paul was a person who loved God and told other people about Him. One day, Paul looked around the city of Athens. He was sad because he saw that the city was full of idols. Statues that people praised and celebrated instead of celebrating the one true God. He told the people around him about the one true God. Paul also went to the marketplace to teach people about Jesus. He told them the good news about Jesus and how he rose from the dead. The people in Athens loved to hear about something new and wanted to hear more about Jesus. The people listened to Paul, but they did not understand what Paul was teaching. One person said. What you are talking about sounds strange to us. The people invited Paul to teach because they wanted to listen and learn and talk about new ideas. Paul said, "People of Athens, I see you worship many gods. You even worship an unknown god, the god who made the world and everything in it. He is the one true god. He gives us life and breath and all things. Those who look for God will find Him. He is always with you." He is the one who sent His Son to die on the cross for us. Then God raised His Son Jesus to life. When the people heard Paul speak, some laughed. Others wanted to listen to Paul again, and some people believed Paul's words and followed Jesus. Whoa! The people listened to Paul, and he told them all about the one true God. Paul taught that God wants all people to know Him. Right. God worked through Paul to point other people to Him, to help people know God and how to follow Him. Oh, look! Do you spy our super clue? Do you remember what to do? Listen, Listen and, and follow. follow. Great job! Our super clue today is a GPS map. We listen to a GPS map to know the right way to go, and we can listen to people to help us know more about God. So the next time you listen to a GPS map. You can remember that we can know God through His people. 
God gives us people like teachers at church, pastors, or people in our family to help us know more about Him. So, Today we learned that God wants us to know Him, and we can know God through His people. God's people are those who love God and tell others about Him. We can listen to what they teach us about God to help us learn more about Him. Wow, that is a big deal. Can you say today's big deal with us? I'll say it first, and then you say it after me. I spy. I spy. God wants me to know Him. God, God wants me to know, know Him. him. Thank you, God, for giving us people who can help us listen and learn more about you. I'm so glad that I have friends like you who can help me learn more about God. Me too. I can't wait to listen and learn together about God next time. We will see you again soon. Say bye, Vark. <laughs>